Welcome back to Tasmania. We're Gin and Ring and we are taking you on a lap around Tassie in our Toyota Coaster bus with our cat and our dog. We've spent the last three days on a final week hot lap in a high car called Sally the Sub, hitting some of the spots we missed once Gertie decided she wanted to take a break. Today we are in Hobart and we are taking you with us to Mona, the museum of old and new art. We stayed in a hotel and we slept in. But we're going to Mona. Our tickets are for 10 a.m. Didn't sleep in. I've been up since six working. <laughs> if you grow up in the morning before 10 o'clock, you get Mac Mac Paddy Oh! <laughs> don't, I'm driving. It took me seven times to wake you up this morning. You don't touch the captain while I was driving. So, okay, if we want to be really gripey and honest. Don't grow up before 10 o'clock or you get a Big Mac. It's past 10 o'clock. Um, doing a Macca's run. If you the reason up. the reason we are late is because Brennan sleeps like a freaking I don't even know what to compare it to. There's nothing on this planet that sleeps as good as you. Snorlax. <sighs> they call me Snorlax. It is, it is the most frustrating thing in our relationship. It has been like that for 20 years. I don't know how I've put up with it. It's because all the beautiful, wonderful things that you get in life when I'm awake. That's yeah, how. That's all right, pal. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Look, I don't really know. I know that they say you're meant to be there at the time that you punch, like, like I punched ten o'clock on the on the internet thing when we bought the tickets, because we have to be back in. Let me stop it. Um, Do my tongue exercises. We have to be back in Lonnie by whatever time to pick up Taka today. So we were trying to get into Mona early. We'll just roll with the punches. So Hobart traffic actually isn't that bad. But there's the Wooden Boat Festival on this weekend. Right. And it is, oh, and the Tassie Pride Parade is, so that's this weekend as well. So it's a massive weekend in Taz. That's busy. Busy. It's super busy. 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 Yeah, the, the traffic, it, I feel like I'm stuck right in the dead center of Melbourne. Oh, on. it's not that bad. This is like a dream day in Melbourne. Mona is the brainchild of David Walsh and he describes it as, quote, a subversive adult Disneyland. Since opening in 2011, it has become a staple on many a traveller's bucket list. If art isn't your thing, you'll most likely still enjoy Mona. It's more of a twisted collection of sensory overloads smooshed into some of the more brilliant architecture of any museum in the world. Mona, here we come. Mona is famous for numerous reasons and any visitor should be prepared to have a laugh whilst also being shocked at times and in absolute awe in the very next breath. There's an app to download upon entry that will be your only clue to what you're looking at throughout your visit. I personally enjoy listening to the artist and gaining a different insight from what I feel at a surface level. First things first. Coffee? Yeah. <laughs> so you get this, we walk in and I think we've started something now, but we're staring at the doorway. I saw a ghost. You are a lifesaver, my friend. I need to get this engine started if I'm going to absorb all this culture and art. There's a bunch of notoriously popular exhibits, some being the poo machine, which replicates the human digestive system, complete with daily defecation. And then there's the wall of vulvas, sculptured from some 80 women of all backgrounds and ages. Honestly, there are so many layers to this museum and to try and explain it any more would do it an injustice. So enjoy what we share, be curious, and perhaps add this to your own bucket list, as seeing it now is really only the tip of the iceberg.
Here's one of the exhibits. What it is, is it's full of oil. Well, jeez, what a mind bender. What do you think of Mona? Yeah, it's an experience. Experience, that's an understatement. <laughs> that's my second time and there's a lot of new things, but even the things I saw the first time had a different experience. It's dark, it's dark and twisted. I'm surprised you didn't want to stick around to see the defecation machine poop. Oh, I didn't want to see myself poop. <laughs> Let alone big machine with other people's poop in it. You didn't have other people's poop in it. No, I had poop in it. I could smell it. <laughs> Stuck. I just wanted to get out of that room and smell like poop. What was your favourite exhibition in there? Favourite exhibition would have been. I didn't think much of the Wall of Fannies. They did it differently this time. Yeah, I think it wasn't much it was to it. The first time. Um, it was a bit of a letdown, to be honest. You mean um, the Wall of Fannies? Yeah, the <laughs> Wall. Oh, <laughs> it's what it's called. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, look, there's heaps of cool stuff. I kind of like the old, um, oh, what do you call it? Like the old ancient bloody Egyptian stuff and all that. Yeah, I like the artifacts. Yeah. I don't know, something about them. It makes me think there's all mysteries and secrets. I like that. Indiana Jones. Yeah, it's treasure, treasure. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm hungry. Me too. We've been walking around for two hours in there. Well, because we, we slept in, we haven't actually we haven't had eaten. coffee. Just had a coffee on the way in. Jin sent me out with a coffee. Look at that thing, that's cool. Ooh. Well, we're gonna go and get some food. Now, for Tasmanians, this is a free day out, but for everyone else, it's $35 per adult, $30 for concession holders, and $10 for under 18s, with under 12 year olds coming in free. In our opinion, it's well worth the coin. But one thing we did not rate were the burgers, the worst food we purchased in Tassie. Which was a real shame because otherwise this was a pretty perfect day. So hot. Are you taking a photo of me? <laughs> Nothing beats a wicked day at Mona. Then afterwards, kicking back with a bit of ice cream and listening to some cool jazz music, man. What a wicked day it's been. Mona. Jen, thanks for hanging out.